Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss design of accumulator logic. Now we have designed the common bus system for the registers of our basic computer. So over here, we are going to discuss only the accumulator. That means how accumulator is loaded, how accumulator is incremented, how accumulator is made clear. So we need to first of all find out the list of the instructions which affects the accumulator. So let's see one by one. So the first instruction is end because we know that end is carried out onto the AC that is accumulator. So over here in this instruction accumulator is affected. How? That means accumulator AC is equals to AC and DR that means it will occur at time D0 T5. Now we are on the verge of controlling the register accumulator register so the timing is very important because we have studied in our register transfer language control function so over here this is our control function d0 t5 so ac equals to ac and dr which is our end instruction which is the such other instruction which affects accumulator the second one is add instruction because we know that at time d1 t5 ac is equals to ac plus dr will take place so this is the second instruction which affects accumulator so the next instruction we are having is transfer from dr that means at time d2 t5 now we know that at time d2 t5 load instruction occurs so we are knowing that at time d2 t5 load will occur and the content of data register is transferred to accumulator. So this also affects accumulator. That means all these three what you are seeing are loading in operation. That means the accumulator is loaded by any of these three instruction. Let's move further. The next instruction what we are having is INPR instruction that is at time PB11. Now we have discussed PB11 in case of input output instruction because at time PB11, P means D7 I T3. So D7 I T3 PB11 will take place and at that time INPR register will transfer its content to AC 0 to 7 bits. Now accumulator is divided into two parts over here because INPR is of 8 bits and the content of INPR is transferred to accumulator 0 to 8 bits. So over here the transfer will occur. So again accumulator is loaded. Let's see the next other, other instruction. Now the register reference instruction RB9 D7 I dash t3 so rb9 we are knowing that ac is equals to ac complement means the com accumulator would be complemented so again loading operation onto the accumulator the next instruction what we are having is shift right in which also accumulator is affected so shift right will take place next we are having shift left which will also affect our accumulator then we are having is clear so clear will also affect our accumulator so over here clear operation is going to take place then we are having increment so increment operation will take place onto the accumulator so these are the instructions which affect the accumulator that means starting with and add load then INP instruction then complement instruction shift right shift left that is CIR CIL clear and increment accumulator all this instruction affects the accumulator now let's see the general block diagram which we have discussed in common bus system this is our normal arrangement for accumulator register this is our 16 bit accumulator register which is having three inputs load increment clear clock is always there and the input to this accumulator register is coming from adder logic circuit and we know that adder and logic circuit will be getting their input from three places one is accumulator second is data register and the third is INPR register so this is what is the arrangement we had already seen but now we are supposed to discuss this control gates how this control gate will reflect this accumulators load increment and clear signal so let us discuss this control gate arrangement in detail so this is our accumulator with connected with clock then the input comes to the accumulator from our adder and logic circuit but 
this adder and logic circuit what is there 16 bits come from there but now we are supposed to discuss the control gate so how it will occur because we are knowing that at d0 t5 that means end instruction will affect the accumulator's load signal so d0 t5 that is end similarly d1 t5 it is add then d2 t5 it is load that is dr dr would be transferred then we are having pb11 that is inpr then complement then shift right shift left all this would be odd so all these instructions are going to load the accumulator so we had discussed load increment and clear so and add lda inp complement shift right shift left will load the accumulator so they would be odd and the signal is connected to the load part so now we are left out with two signals that is increment and clear so increment will occur at inc instruction so at time rb5 rb5 and operation both should be one so rb5 at that time increment will take place and increment in of ac will take place and lastly we are having clear so at time rb11 accumulator is cleared so clear accumulator and signal is given to the accumulators clear input so when from all these values one comes the accumulator would be affected now when this one comes based on the timings of this instructions the load input would be enabled so load increment and clear so this is what is the design of accumulator logic